Even teachers are hoping they can keep their jobs in the meantime. Three of the seven schools will close and the staff and students consolidated into other th uh, into three other under enrolled uh, schools, sparking big backlash from families. But all of this comes as a new superintendent gets ready to step straight into the fire. That person who hasn't been named publicly will be announced by the Bellevue School District Board of Directors tomorrow. It's not yet clear who the new Bellevue superintendent will be. We don't know who that new superintendent is. But one thing's for sure, they're stepping into a tense debate. This was the first year where kids could be kids and actually start building relationships. And now you're talking about ripping those apart. Bellevue School District plans to close three schools to consolidate them with others that are under-enrolled, affecting hundreds. We're going to be working with those communities to co-develop the transition plan and the timeline. This BSD leader says staff won't be laid off under this plan, that teachers will be moved with students. Every year we have switchover, we have turnover. We, you know, we're not fully staffed now. We have openings in nutrition services and bus drivers. The goal is, though, to have teachers move with the kids because the kids have bonded with those teachers. But this parent isn't buying it. They're going to lose their teachers. They're going to lose the librarian. You can't have two librarians in one school. So which librarian gets to go? Which music teacher gets to go? Decision will be made February 9th. So what does the teachers union think of all this? BEA advocates for the least amount of impact to all, maintaining jobs and providing the best learning opportunities for the students of BSD. The time dedicated to this difficult decision has not been considered. But DeVita says the time is now as funding is soon going away. What's more important, where the school is located or the services and quality of education that kids get when they get to school? And DeVita is concerned with two funding sources. First, what's known as hold harmless revenue from the state. $20 million they had gotten to be able to afford under-enrolled schools affected by the pandemic. That's going away next school year. And the ESSER funds, that's from the federal government. She says those will go away in the 24 to 25 school year. King 5 will continue following this developing story. I'm Maddie White.